Hey everyone, this is Carol, and I'm coming to you today with a project that I made for my um, daughter-in-law's baby shower. My granddaughter was supposed to be born on May 28th, and she was born on April 27th. We were going to have the shower April 29th, and so that didn't happen. <laughs> But everybody's good. Um, little granddaughter is six pounds, 13 ounces. That's my first grandchild. And she's 19 inches long and she's really cute. And everybody's doing well. Mom had to have her appendix out and a C section. But, you know, what comes along with that is not as easy as just having a regular delivery. But they're all doing well. And they're going home today. Today's Sunday, April 30th. And I just wanted to show you a few projects that I did. Um, this right here was made with um, a box. One of those gift boxes that you get at the Dollar General. They're usually a dollar. And I usually wait till the end of the season and I pick them up for 10 cents when they, they go on sale. And the box is four and it looks like four and three quarters by four and three quarters so what I did is I covered it in paper and this paper is a teal polka dot and it's from Doris and it comes from uh, what is it Joann's uh, Joann's has this and it's good quality um, cardstock so I covered the box in that I did not use the cover. What I did is I put one of those green foam things that you pick up two for a dollar at the dollar store inside so that I could uh, decorate and stick all the decorations in there. So I used a Martha Stewart deep edge punch for the lace around here. And then this right here is some pearl trim. It actually is two rows, but I cut it to one row. Um, and put it on the edge here and on the top as well. So what we have here, uh, let me just move this one back a little bit, is a uh, dollar store ribbon. Uh, you can get this in the baby section. That's where I got it. It's got quite a bit of um, uh, ribbon on there. So I made this bow and I tied it with wire and then I stuck it in the styrofoam with some glue so it's uh, nice and tight in there and then I used some tool I what I did is I took um, about a yard of tool and I gathered it and folded it in half and took wire and wrapped it around the center and then twisted it and uh, I stuck it in side the styrofoam with uh, glue on the wire so it won't come out and it's a pretty uh, glitter type of tool I think it comes from Walmart that right there is a Martha Stewart butterfly and it's got a little pearl center and I also uh, used these um, craft uh, they're called honeycomb picks that I picked up at uh, Michael's. They were like $1.99 a box. I really like these. These are so cute. Um, they're just made of paper and it, the stick is pretty long on them. So that's what I used to decorate because it was the perfect color. So I stuck them in there and put little half pearls on the top in that teal color. Um, I glued them on the top and I got it like that all the way around. And I probably used about seven of those uh, gathered uh, tool things in here, just in case uh, you needed to know if you want to make one. My elephant is from this Cricut cartridge. It's Everyday Pop-Up Cards. And let me open it up and show you the elephant. I did not use the pop-up. Um, this is the pop-up when you put it in a card. I did not use that. I cut this. Um, I made this, which was this first layer here, and then this was the second layer with the teal. 
when you do the shift on the Cricut cartridge. And then I also did the um, tusks in teal as well. So um, that's what I used for my elephant. And I'll give you a closer picture of him. As you can see, I did little um, distress with some black soot distress ink. And I did little stitching around him. And then for the ears, I used the, I think it was called Peacock Feathers. Um, that matches this um, teal color um, paper from Daris. And I did that around the teal. And then I um, used some diamond stickles to make it uh, shiny. And I mounted it on a straw. And I left the bottom portion uh, open. So I did, just in case you wanted to know, I did two um, so that this would look good from the front and the back. So there are two elephants um, done. And then you see I did them so that they matched. I was actually going to put this on either side of the cake that I was making. <laughs> um, and that's still probably going to happen. Uh, but I just wanted to show you that. And I think that's it for those. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, leave a comment down below. And I will answer it as quickly as possible. Um, I'll tell you how big the elephant is. It is actually seven and a half yeah that I remember cutting it at that seven and a half by uh, five and a quarter so I did set the Cricut at seven and a half to cut that so um any questions again just leave me a comment and I will answer them thank you so much for watching I have more videos coming up and until next time happy crafting